Please rise for a moment of silence to be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, BHS. I'm Emily. And I'm Maddie. And welcome to VASH TV. Today is Tuesday, April 25th, making today the official 149th day of school and day one of the cycle. Scheduling meetings for the 2023 to 2024 school year will take place today in the auditorium. Students should report to class and be, wait to be called over the intercom. Period 2, current 10th grade students. Period 3, current 9th grade students. And period 7, current 11th grade students. Prom tickets will go on sale May 1st in the guidance office. Tickets are $25 each. A reminder that only juniors and seniors may purchase tickets. Students in grades 9 and 10 must be a guest of a junior or senior in order to attend the prom. Students who wish to bring a non-Berwick guest to the prom must complete a guest permission form available in the guidance office. The deadline to submit completed forms to Mr. Bennett or Mrs. Warhurst is May 17th. No exceptions. Don't miss out on your school yearbook. There are still limited quantities left, so pre-order now to make sure you get one. Email Ms. Mallory at the email below. The SAT will be given here at BHS on June 3rd. The registration must be completed by May 4th on the College Board website. SAD will be collecting tan tabs for the Ronald McDonald House of Danville on April 27th in the CAF and the library. Tin and aluminum can tabs are appreciated. This week, there will be yellow ribbons hidden around the school in order in awareness of pediatric cancer and support of the Teen Center's upcoming cause -a on Sunday, April 30th. If you find a ribbon, turn it in to Mrs. Curry to receive a ticket that will be entered into a drawing at lunch for a $100 gift basket. If you do not find a ribbon but still want to participate, you can purchase an entry for $1 at lunch. The annual cause -a on Sunday, April 30th from 1 to 7 p.m., there will be different tournaments and games along with student performers. And to tell us more about the Teen Center's cause -a we have Teen Center representatives Alex Peters and Johnny Guerrero. Welcome, gentlemen. Good morning. I'm Alex Peters along with Johnny Guerrero. The Teen Center is hosting its annual causathon this Sunday, April 30th from 1 to 7 p.m. This event will feature live performances each hour, including swing choir and jazz band. Apart from our live entertainment, there will be tournaments and prizes throughout the day. Now that you mention it, Johnny, that reminds me. Throughout this week, there will be sign-up sheets at all lunches for the tournaments. Our tournaments include volleyball, spike ball, and cup pong. For volleyball, there will be eight teams of four, and each team member must sign up during lunch. For spike ball, there will be 16 teams of two. Each team member will have to sign up at lunch. For cup pong, there will be 12 teams of two. And again, each team member will have to sign up at lunch. You are allowed to participate in every tournament event with any partner of your choosing. In order to participate, you will have to bring a minimum of $20 at the door. All donations raised will help families face the burden of pediatric cancer. Remember, it is this Sunday, April 30th at the Teen Center. Hope to see you there. In addition, this week, there will be yellow ribbons hidden around the school in awareness of pediatric cancer and support of the cause thon on Sunday, April 30th. If you find a ribbon, turn it into Mrs. Curry in the guidance office to receive a ticket that will be entered into a drawing at lunch for a $100 gift card basket. If you do not find a ribbon but still want to participate, you can purchase an entry for both $1 at lunch. Good luck and, and hope, hope to, to see you there. there. We hope to see everyone at the event. Now let's send it back to main desk with Addie and Emily. Thanks, Alex and Johnny. The event sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's a great chance to help others. Everyone should participate and attend the event. That's it for me, Ness. Now I'll send it over to Eden with FYI. Thanks, Addie and Emily. Welcome to FYI. We explore what's happening around school. Today is Grim Reaper Day at Berwick High School. The event is sponsored every year by SAD to remind everyone what a destructive combination alcohol and driving can be. Someone dies every 50 minutes in the United States as a result of a drunk driving accident. Every 50 minutes today, you will hear a bell ring to signify someone dying in a drunk driving accident. At that time, the Grim Reaper will take a student from their classroom to change into a t-shirt that reads, you can't talk to me anymore. I was killed in a drunk driving accident and now I'm just a memory. A tombstone will be placed on their locker and they will return to class unable to speak for the remainder of the day. 
In addition, every student turning 16 this school year will receive a keychain from SAD reminding them of the dangers associated with drinking and driving. Knobles will once again be here during all three lunches on Wednesday, April 26th. Part-time positions for the summer are available and Knobles would like to see if we have enough interest to provide transportation to and from the park for workers. Please stop by their table with display for more information. Well, that's it for FYI. Let's summer with Sean with sports. Thanks, Eden. I'm Sean, and welcome to sports. Tonight in sports, varsity volleyball is away with Crestwood at 4.30 p.m. with a dismissal time of 2.30 p.m. Happy birthday today to Callie Schultz. Well, that's it for Bash TV. Have a great day, VHS.